So what's happening YouTube? Today we're gonna look at the Vision OS 2 and we are now in Bora Bora. And this is one of the additions on the Vision OS 2. As you can see, there is some that will that they will add later on. As you can see the, the trees here. You can hear the ocean as well, feeling that you are in the white sand beach of Bora Bora. Another addition is I think they took this from the Quest 3 is ha being able to you don't have to touch your Vision Pro to be able to navigate your app drawer. So for example, if you want to bring up your apps, you just have to click that. As you could see there. Your apps will show up. And then if you want to bring up Control Center, you just have to click that and the Control Center will come up. Another addition on the Vision OS 2 is that you'll be able to rearrange your apps so for example if you don't want the mail app you'll be able to delete it right there if you don't want the keynote you can delete it right there now one thing i'd like to notice as well with the control center as you could see you have the battery battery right there and the time and the, you're connected to the wi-fi then you could change the volume here as well as you could see there now another feature that they added is being able to create a spatial photo so let's hit this button we are on our photos right now let's hit this photo let's see how well it does as you could see there it's creating a spatial photo for us oh now it looks like you're kind of going in to the app there or to the uh, photo which is really cool I'm not sure if you can really see that on screen, but I'm recording it right now, uh, how, how I see it. And it feels really like more 3D and you're inside that photo. Let's try a different photo here. How about uh, let's relive this food that we ate a few months ago. There it is. Whoo. Now it kind of moves with your head as well, yeah, head tracking. So it looks like you're kind of could grab that that food right now which is really nice let's try another one here that's pretty cool now it's I don't think it's that complicated but it is a cool feature because you're able to see kind of how how deep that is um, when I took this photo I kind of just took took a shot with my iPhone like this or vertical so it's, there's no like complicated way to do it, but they're able to create a spatial photo out of it, which is really cool. You also don't need an iPhone or it'll work with any photo that you've taken with any camera. So now you're able to like, oh, I can almost grab that big potato wedge just there. And there we go. Now it kind of has this like um, blurry sides here. So you kind of feel like you're inside the photo. But in reality, um, I think it's got a little bit gimmicky, but it's pretty cool still. Pretty cool feature. So here we are, we at our desktop. We have the MacBook right here. We're gonna hit connect on here. And let's see if I'm able to create what they have on the Apple event on WWDC. I can have this big screen right here. And it's way bigger than my um, studio display that I have here, which is really cool. So as you can see, I'm able to see my screen here, edit my timeline without any problems at all. But I'm not sure how to bring up that panoramic desktop. I don't think it's here yet. So I think we'll have to wait before we test that out. Now the one thing while we're here, because it says that a mouse and a keyboard will be able to be shown through the environments. Now let's try that out right now using the Vision Pro. So right now it's not showing up for some reason. I mean I could see the keyboard of my MacBook. So that's a good thing. But I can't see my craft and my Logitech mouse on here, which is sad.
Now let's test it out. Let's test out if we connect this keyboard and mouse to our Vision Pro instead. Um, let's see if that makes a difference. So let's bring up settings here. Let's try this out. Okay, there's the MX3S there. Let's pair. Okay, it's connected. There it is. Did that work? Oh, it did. Okay, let's go. So as you can see, the mouse works. That's really cool, right? I'm able to like move around stuff. And how do I hit home here? Can I bring up home at all? Home. Home. No, so I can't do that. I have to do this to bring up home. But as you can see, your mouse, you're able to bring it around. Okay. Now, for example, even my scroll wheel here, you'll be able to use to go to the next page of your uh, apps. And let's do let's do a note taking here, as you can see here. Oh yeah, let's go. This is really cool. Am I able to type at all? Let's create a new note. Okay. Oh, there it is. Yes. I'm able to type out stuff using the keyboard. Okay. That's cool. This stupid keyboard is still in the way, but whatever. It's working. Okay. Now the other solution. Now the other test that we want to do is: Can I see my keyboard? on the environment <laughs> you, can't. you still can't okay i don't know if apple is gonna update this to all uh keyboards out there but i'm glad that i'm able to use a mouse now any mouse will work i guess on here you don't need to you need to you don't need to have the magic uh trackpad anymore again we're using the logitech uh craft keyboard and also the MX Master 3SM mouse and it works it works properly really good so another feature that they added here is that the travel mode can now do trains so it's, as you could see here it used to just say plane if you're on a plane and then now it says if you're on a plane or train so that you're able to use it I guess from before um, people are using it in the car, in the train, uh, basically anywhere that is moving but not in the plane and it wasn't doing very good. So now you're able to use travel mode on planes and cars as well. Now another feature that they added here is the guided access. I'm not able to click it while I'm on record, so, uh, recording, screen record, but basically it would lock your screen that you're only able to use the safari so you won't be able to open any apps at all which is really cool if you have a guest um you want to use and you don't want to you don't want them to go through your messages or uh, other apps then you're able to just tell them that okay you're only able to use safari and that's it um you can also say that oh you're able to use some other apps as well but not every apps in your uh app library another thing that they added is you can have a fixed guest mode now so if you're sharing this with another person then you'll be able to use they'll be able to use your vision pro so you don't need to keep doing the initial guest mode uh, configuration they'll remember the net the latest guest that used your vision pro and the other things that they mention in dub dub is that they're going to create a new lens for an Canon R7. I'm not sure if that's, it's an RF lens, so I'm able to, I'm sure I'll be able to use it on my R8 or my R5C. But basically, it's a cheaper lens for APS-C, and um, it's able to shoot a better picture than our phones, our iPhones, or uh, Vision Pro. So now, more people will have access to create more content, a spatial content, that um the, you know for the vision pro 
I think that's a good a great way to give it to creators as well because then you're we're all able to create spatial content making the vision pro uh, more useful and we're able to see higher quality content from the vision pro so thanks for watching everyone and that's really it for the day i just wanted to sh uh, do a quick video so that you guys can see what the new vision os 2 can do what what's the new things if you want to see more vision pro content let me know in the comments below what do you think of the vision os 2 thanks for watching everyone subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys next time Peace.